Otto Wambier was travelling in North Korea as a tourist when he was arrested in January of last year. He'd attempted to steal a propaganda sign from a hotel as a souvenir. Before his trial at a news conference arranged by the North Korean government, he tearfully confessed to trying to take the sign as a trophy for a US church. He saved his poor and innocent scapegoat. A month later, the economic student from the University of Virginia was paraded through the halls of North Korea's Supreme Court. He was found guilty and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor after a one-hour trial. Otto Wambia was freed after senior officials from the US State Department traveled to Pyongyang to demand his release on humanitarian grounds. It's President Trump spoke shortly right. after hearing the news of his death. And I just wanted to pass on word that Otto Warmbier has just passed away. He spent a year and a half in North Korea. A lot of bad things happened, but at least we got him home to be with his parents, where they were so happy to see him, even though he was in very tough condition, but he just passed away a little while ago. It's a brutal regime, and will be able to handle it. In a written statement, the president added that his administration was determined to prevent such tragedies from befalling innocent people at the hands of regimes that do not respect the rule of law or basic human decency. Peter Bowes, BBC News.